welcome to Orlando Attractions Magazine, the show. This week we're getting a taste of Disney's California Grill. And heading in the opposite direction, we're also giving you a preview of Universal's Halloween Horror Nights. As always, we've got theme park news, travel tips, a new giveaway, and more coming at you. And it's all happening right, right now. now. This week's show is brought to you by Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade Disney items. Visit their warehouse here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. Mouse Fan Travel is our preferred travel agent for theme parks, cruises, and exotic destinations. For a free quote with no obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of online discount tickets to all of Orlando's best attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, run to undercovertourist.com. Welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Jenny Lynn. Well, happy anniversary, Banks. Well, thank you. Wait, wait, hold on. What? I'm not, I'm not married yet. Just, just engaged. Not, not married yet. No, 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 no. I'm talking about our one-year anniversary. You know, it was a year ago that you and I became hosts of the oh, show together. That's right. That's right, man. Yeah. Time flies by just so quickly. It seems like just yesterday we pulled you in for your first audition and. Here we are, all grown up and hosting our second year of weekly episodes of the show. Well, there's definitely cause for celebration. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what did you plan for us for our special day? What did I plan? Yes, yes. So, um, you know, people make special plans for special occasions. This is our day together. What did you plan? Uh, of course, yeah, yeah. We're going to. Um, uh, you, you know, before I can get to that, that special thing that I have planned just for this special day, as any good co-host would do for such a special day, um, I, we should actually get to News in the Queue first because, um, you know, the, we, we need to do that first. Yeah. All right. If you say so. This week we start off at the Orange County Regional History Center. The Star Wars themed Galactic Encounter Days are coming back this Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. The activities for the event include watching a droid parade, blasting stormtroopers, hanging out in the pilot's lounge with blue milk, Wookiee cookies, and Bantha brownies, meeting Darth Vader, and exploring a Tusken Raider village. And for more information or to purchase those tickets online, you're going to want to visit thehistorycenter.org. This is always this event is always it's it's a little special to me just because 2011 when this event happened, that was the first time I ever did a report for the show. Oh, that was at this event in 2011, so it, it holds a special place in my heart. It's all kinds of anniversaries all Ex over the place. Exactly, and I'm really glad to hear this event is returning. And speaking of returns, the Fountain View at Epcot has reopened. It has a new look and new offerings because Starbucks has moved into the revamped facility. That's right. As y'all may remember, this is the second Starbucks location to open at Walt Disney World, with the first being in the Magic Kingdom. This particular location, though, is designed to match the futuristic theme of Future World, where it's placed. Here's a new announcement, though, you may not have heard. Wetzel's Pretzels and haagen in downtown Disney Westside will be relocating to stands near Disney Quest. Their old building will become the new Starbucks in another year. And if that wasn't enough, Starbucks will also have a kiosk near the World of Disney store and marketplace at Downtown Disney. It's so like two a Starbucks, Starbucks infestation at Walt Disney World. I'm glad to see that Starbucks is going to have at least two locations at Downtown Disney because that place is so big and so popular. It's a long you, you need walk, to. Yeah. I mean, you'll have the main location on Westside and then the smaller kiosk and uh, marketplace, but sure. it's still good to have multiple locations there. Yep, Starbucks, Starbucks everywhere. I will say, <laughs> I know that I put up a, a bit of a fuss when we, the first announcement of Starbucks came, mm -hmm. but in the Magic Kingdom, it was a very nice transition. Yes. I feel like the inside, it was all an improvement. Things seem to actually be more efficient at this point, and it doesn't feel like a Starbucks, mm -hmm. so. And now we're just waiting to see where it's studios and Animal Kingdom that's gonna be placed. Um, I'm hearing rumors that it's going to be put at starring roles at studios. Which oh, really? It makes sense because it does make sense. It's a bakery itself, and it's the space has been so small. It'd be good to expand that out and mm -hmm. put a Starbucks in there. 
Well, I'm not so cranky about it anymore. I feel like they have proven themselves. Good. Now, for anyone looking for something on the wild side, wildlife expert Jungle Jack Hanna is coming to SeaWorld this weekend, and you can see him with your park admission. In addition to Jack's talks, there will be a special VIP buffet dinner at Dine with Shamu. Guests will be able to mingle with Jack and his animal friends up close, as well as receive a complimentary photo with Jack. That event costs $59 for adults and $49 for children. There's also a breakfast planned at Shark's Underwater Grill. Jungle Jack will be there for that as well. And cost for this meal is $49 for adults and $39 for children. Past members will be receiving a 10% discount for both special events. I've, uh, we was last, last year at Busch Gardens, we um, met Jack at the opening of the animal care facility and he's such a fun guy to talk to. He's really, really great and he, lo he knows his stuff, loves the animals and it's, he's, I always recommend recommend going and meeting him and talking to yeah, him. Yeah, well, who doesn't love cuddly, cute animals? I know, right? Even if they do have sharp fangs and claws. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are talking about great experiences. Let's talk about Discovery Cove. Right now, Florida residents can get an exclusive rate for a visit plus unlimited admission to SeaWorld and Aquatica through the end of the year. There are various packages and pricing, so you're going to want to check out discoverycove.com or our website for those details. We're seeing a lot of this, especially it, it, here toward the end of the year. The parks start offering these sort of special rates that last you for the, the rest of the year because there's not many months left in yes, the year. So. so true. And we're well-deserving. We live here in Florida. I think we are entitled to a few perks. I believe so. Yes. <laughs> now from Discovery Cove to Walt Disney World, we have some fun news to report. Glow with the show Mickey Ear Hats will be making their debut next month. Yes. The ears on the hats will change colors in sync with the fireworks shows and even other things going on at the Magic Kingdom and the Hollywood Studios. Look for them in the studios beginning October 15th during the 15th anniversary of Fantasmic and October 19th in the Magic Kingdom for Wishes. Each set of those ear hats are going to cost you $25. I've seen the videos of this at uh, Disneyland and with World of Color, and when you have a lot of people together, it, it's amazing. It just it astounds you just how timed it is, and each person's hat does something different, and it's, mm -hmm. I think it's gonna be really cool. For me, uh, and then this someday announces that it's going to be integrated with the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights. I read about that, and, and I, think, I thought that was an amazing idea. I think that is the best integration it's going to have right now here at Disney World. Um, I, I just I feel like it might intrude on wishes viewings, especially you know if you're standing behind someone and you're kind of lower because there are points in Main Street that are lower than others mm -hmm. the ears might kind of be a, a bit of a distraction that's just my personal opinion um, but uh, regardless I think it's still going to be a really fun thing for guests to try out and see. Yeah we'll have to see how it plays out but I have to say if you have one of those ears I just imagine that you're going to feel connected with the theme park on a different level, and what a cool idea that is. Yeah, yeah. Now, nothing can be more Americana than Mickey ears, but let's bring in a bit for the Brits. Doctor Who is now the concept behind the Hurricane Who convention. This convention is coming to Orlando November 1st through 3rd at the Double Tree by Hilton, located near SeaWorld. Now, some of the talent from the show will be there for the occasion, plus other sci-fi stars. You're going to check out our blog for a list of who's who in the guest lineup for Hurricane Who. I am very exciting. I mean, it's no secret. A lot of us You're here at the show Dr. are, are huge Huvians. And this, this convention is taking place right in time for the 50th anniversary on November 23rd. Um, so it's 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 exciting year to be a Whovian. Doctor, um, the sixth Doctor, uh, Colin Baker, is, is the main guest that's going to be at the convention. So to get to meet the sixth Doctor, that's going to be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I really don't know anything about it. I don't watch it yet. Oh, you need to watch it. Netflix. Netflix. Netflix is your friend. Okay, sounds good. For this week's Hidden Mickey, don't forget other hidden characters. For example, in Downtown Disney Marketplace and Goofy's Candy Company, a shadow of Goofy is on the upper back wall of the store behind the large crispy treat display. We are seeing a lot of returns this week, and there was a big one over at Disney's Contemporary Resort. Yes, it's been shut down for a while, but the California Grill atop the resort has reopened with a new look and an updated menu. Luckily, I was able to get over there to see what all the fuss was about, and let me tell you, I confess to fussing over it a bit <laughs> myself. So, take a look. Welcome to Disney's Contemporary Resort. We are here today to get a look at the newly remodeled California Grill. So let's head on up.
welcome to the California New Grill. Uh, we're very excited about this reopening. Our menu is very similar to what our name implies. It's the California Grill. So we have California style cuisine. We use live oak wood. We have a wood fired oven. So it's very rustic flavors and very seasonal, um, seasonal flavors. A lot of local and seasonal produce, a lot of fresh Florida um, seafood, um, ever-changing menu. So really whatever mother nature dictates to us, we put on the menu. We kept some of our old favorites because our guests really associate California Grill with some of those favorites like the Sonoma goat cheese ravioli and the grilled pork tenderloin with goat cheese polenta. But we've updated them a little bit. So we've added a special blend estate olive oil that's just for California Grill to the ravioli. We've added a crispy lacquered pork belly component to the grilled pork with goat cheese polenta. And then we've changed up some of our flatbreads and we're using our brick oven in the back to be a little more creative with appetizer style dishes. So it's more than just flatbreads. Can you give us an idea of the concept and the theming of the makeover? So the concept and the theming, actually, the theming and the concept really hasn't changed. Uh, we just gave uh, the California Grill a, a fresh look, like a, a, a re-imagineering, if you may, may call it that. Some of the highlights we actually really were working on, very proud of, is uh, obviously the decor, if you see. Uh, it's much uh, more open, it's bright, uh, it, you have a better view, almost, to say. Um, we have uh, two brand new communal tables, uh, which uh, we are very excited about. So those are actually in the prime location in our restaurant overlooking the Magic Kingdom. Another thing is uh, we have a second and observation deck in our restaurant for our guests to enjoy the fireworks at the end of the evening. So where we had before just one observation deck, we have two now. So it's a much more relaxed, refined atmosphere where guests can just grab a glass of champagne and just sit outside, or not sit, but stand outside and enjoy the fireworks. Um, the arrival experience has uh, drastically changed. As you step off the elevators, you've been greeted by a, I would like to call it a wall of wine. We actually have displayed on display 1,600 different, uh, actually 1,600 bottles of wine. And our wine list also has uh, changed from uh, 250 like 200 wines up to close to almost 300 wines we have uh, now by the bottle. 80 uh, of those are going to be featured by the glass. Our chef, uh, Brian Pesecki, he got a brand new kitchen, so you can imagine how happy he is. Like chefs, they always like the new toys and uh, he got those. Um, our seating, actually capacity not really has changed in our restaurant, but uh, I actually um, got my uh, tables a little bit rearranged, if I may call it that, um, because we are a destination for our guests. Our guests are coming here for birthdays, anniversaries, uh, proposals, so we are a destination for celebrations and of course for business dinners as well. And um, that gives me more flexibility to kind of accommodate all our requests for our guests here. Now, as far as specialty um, diet restrictions, are you able to accommodate those and which ones in particular are you going to be able to accommodate? Well, because we make everything fresh, everything day of and everything in-house, we control all the ingredients in every single dish that goes out. So on a case-by-case -case basis, we certainly address dietary issues and we accommodate as best as we can. People are bringing their kids sometimes. What do you have that kids are going to want to eat? Well, we have an amazing kids menu and we partner with um, our Disney Check program um, to make sure that those nutritional guidelines are met for our children. But we've got a grilled uh, filet of beef, grilled chicken with a local citrus um, glaze on top, baby carrots, crushed sweet potatoes, so very kid-friendly food. And delicious and healthy as well. And healthy and delicious. All this talking is making me really hungry. <laughs> I think it's time to dig in. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation. And the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. 
start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. It is one of our annual favorites, ladies and gentlemen. Halloween Horror Nights is upon us. Hooray! We are fortunate enough to have been given a sneak peek inside the Walking Dead house so that y'all can get a taste of what is coming. We had Anthony take the lead on this one. But we need to give a bit of a disclaimer here. Some of the visuals may be a bit disturbing and may not be suitable for young children and sensitive viewers. However, if frightful sights are up your dark alley, this is something you won't want to miss. Hey guys, it's Anthony. We're here at Universal Studios Florida for a preview of this year's Halloween Horror Nights event. Now tonight, not only are we going to be able to interview some of the creative heads of this year's event, but we're also going to be checking out a house or two. And I heard there's some walker sightings in the area, so I better keep an eye out. Tell me, what about these intellectual properties intrigued you to bring them to this year's event? I, it's, I think it, it's all about diversity. It's it's trying to find properties that um, are well known. That that's most important. We don't we want to do things that, that are going to you know have a presence in the event and people are going to want to see. Um, but I also think it's about being diverse with the plot lines and the thematics. Uh, so I think it's just important to be diverse in the IP um, and play both worlds as far as doing mazes that we know people are going to really want to see and know there's an expectation of, but also. I love doing mazes that are based in a classic realm as well. American Wolf in London, classic film. Uh, I, would, I would bet that there's a majority of younger people today that may have never seen that movie before. And this, I'm hopeful, will be that kind of gateway that they'll, they'll see the maze, they'll go home and go, I have got to see that movie and find out what this was based on. Uh, so I, I like that. I like any time we can educate people in horror as well as give them an amazing experience, I think that's a win-win. Can you tell me how you went along the routes of picking Resident Evil, the video games, instead of the film series? Oh, uh, I'm a gamer. I mean, that, that's probably the simplest answer. Uh, that game series is, is brilliant. Um, you know, but there's six of the console series and an untold amount on handheld, and uh, it just, it's something we'd never done before. And it, also a challenge for us this year in doing that maze was we, we knew we were doing Walking Dead already, and we knew that the game was based in a, in a, in a, a zombified environment. So it was really taking those aesthetics and applying a different color texture to them. Like the zombies in Resident Evil are definitely different looking than the walkers in Walking Dead. Um, there's a lot more color to them. You know, Walking Dead is very muted, uh, whereas Resident Evil is all about that kind of 16-bit vibe that we kind of wanted to bring to the maze in, in a sense you know we're not doing pixelated environments or anything like that I mean these are these are fully realized sets um, but we wanted to bring that video game nature to the point where as you walk through if you're a fan of the games while you're while you're getting scared try to look around because we've also placed the same type of items that you would find as the player in the maze herb plants uh, uh, ammo the lighter uh, there's even a save point um, so again just if Silent Hill was about bringing uh, the game to life, this is about putting our guests into the game. That would, be, that would be the major difference between Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Can you tell me a little bit about the street experiences for this year? Well, this is the first year ever that we are totally transforming all of our streets into one thing, which is The Walking Dead. AMC's Walking Dead, we are so excited to bring that to life this year at Halloween Horror Nights. 
And how closely did you work with the team over at The Walking Dead to bring this to life? We worked really closely. They were involved in all of our creative and they gave us some great feedback and loved some of the newer things that we might be adding to our streets for The Walking Dead. Okay, um, are there any safe zones this year? Like sidewalks in the past were a safe zone or is it expanding like it did last year a little bit? That program is still in play this year. There is nowhere safe and there's nowhere safe with walkers everywhere. It was amazing. That last room in the prison cell block scared the poop out of me. <laughs> so I survived, but she wasn't as lucky. If you guys want to take a chance, come out select nights starting next Friday, September 20th through November 2nd. Vacations in Orlando tend to be all about the hustle and bustle. For this reason, it's a good idea to take a bit of time to just relax when you're here. Enter Orlando Spas. These spas are found at most luxury resorts in the area and are worth the detour from your action-packed itinerary. Here are a few tips to make the most of your spa day. 1. Arrive 15 to 20 minutes early. No one wants to start a day of relaxation in a rush, so give yourself plenty of time to wind down before it begins. Two, do what is comfortable. If massages in the buff make you uneasy, just know that it's perfectly acceptable to leave undergarments on. The point is to relax, not bring anxiety, so you need your experience to suit your level of comfort. And three, highlight trouble spots. It's helpful for the therapist to know if you have sensitive areas and the type of pressure that you would like. And don't be shy about telling the therapist if they're talking too much. It's your treatment. It needs to be what you want. With these in mind, your spa day should be relaxing and pleasurable. And don't be surprised if you find yourself addicted to the experience. Are you heading to Orlando? Don't pay full price for your theme park admission tickets. Undercover Tourist ships the exact same tickets straight to your door for less than gate price. All tickets are new, authentic, and backed by one of the best refund policies. Add on your car rental and save up to 50% on your vacation package. Find the best day to visit each park along with other insider tips and planning tools at UndercoverTourist.com. Visit UndercoverTourist.com and buy your tickets today. As usual, we have our weekly giveaway. Thanks for your YouTube comments. Every week the responses are getting better and better. Each one was greatly appreciated. We love hearing from all of you out there, but we can only have one winner. And this week, it is DizLove13 who said, love your show. Congratulations. Your Fantasia package from Theme Park Connection is on its way. And I'm jealous. This week, we're giving you a chance to win this great prize pack from Theme Park Connection. We have a Theme Park Connection t-shirt, size of large, I believe. We have a Theme Park Connection um, tote, tote bag. bag that was given out at the Juni 23 Expo. Mm -hmm. And then also we're going to throw in a $25 gift certificate to Theme Park Connection you can use here in the store Best or on their website all. or eBay. Yep, sounds good to me. Now to enter, just subscribe to us on YouTube and post a comment below this episode. We'll choose one person at random from the comments. Only one comment per person is eligible and you need to post it by the end of next Tuesday, September 17th, 2013. Well, switching over to our shoutouts for the week. Our first one is to George Delator. George told us that he loved the episode we did on the WWE facility earlier this summer. 
We did too, George. Yes, yes, yes. And we <laughs> hope to bring you more news out of WWE's activities in Orlando as it happens. YouTube viewer Skydog1617 was just as enthusiastic about that very same episode. Skydog, I'm so glad you caught all of those wrestling references I slipped in that week. And you should know that Raw is coming to Orlando's Amway Center in October. Ooh. I'm going to be there. I hope you'll be there too. And maybe you will now because guess what, folks? I've turned this guy. He mm -hmm. now watches wrestling. Yeah, Jenny Lynn and my roommate have, have made me a wrestling fan, and I very much enjoy it. Anthony Markham is heading here this month. We wanted to wish you safe travels, Anthony, and we hope every minute of your trip is memorable. Steven Garacci, I know that you're out there. Thank you for the very nice compliments. We are glad that you're watching each and every week. Stay the course. Hope Perry in the UK, we're giving you a shout out this week simply because you are awesome. Mm -hmm. We appreciate the support you send our way. Just know we support you as well. And wrapping up this week, we want to send our best wishes to Alan and Katie Marillo. Alan watches every episode and will often leave us rather comical <laughs> comments on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this week we want to send them our prayers and thoughts as they wait patiently on the arrival of their first baby. Oh. Hang in there, Katie. Five weeks left. And we have our fingers crossed for a healthy and happy delivery. Congratulations. Finally, we want to thank Mouse Fan Travel. Let them plan your next trip, whether by land or sea. For a free quote without obligation, visit mousefantravel.com. And much thanks to Theme Park Connection, where you can buy, sell, and trade theme park items. Visit the warehouse here in Winter Garden or online at themeparkconnection.com. We are also thankful to Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando's attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. Please let all of our sponsors know that you appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget, you can watch the show each and every week on YouTube, iTunes, and Bright House Cable. You can also like us on Facebook, and we hope you'll follow us on Twitter. Not to be forgotten, there's always attractionsmagazine.com for news and videos throughout the week, as well as the magazine itself. It's available in print, on the Nook, and in our app. Our new fall issue is available, and you'll find great stories on the new Transformers ride, Wikiwachi Springs, and, of course, my favorite, a tribute to the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Nice, nice. Well, now we're at the end here. Hey, Banks. Well, I'm ready for whatever you plan for our anniversary. You know, I kind of thought that you would have surprised me with something by now. Right. Oh, yeah. I um. Uh, well, uh, you see, I, I, I have to wait for the moment when you're least expecting it. And, and, and while we're waiting for this, this celebratory moment, you know, unexpected to arrive, we want to make sure that you all get out there and have, have fun. fun. <laughs> yeah. today to get a preview. Nope, not a preview. <laughs> it's not a preview. <laughs> What's that? What are, you, what are you saying? Now tonight, not only will we be able... Uh, starting next Friday, September 20th through November 20th. As usual, we have our weekly giveaway. Thanks for you, 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 you too. You, 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 you. You. And only you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is the camera it tilted? Is. Uh, Looks tilted.